Hi, my name is Meredith coming to you from Arts Corps and I'm excited to be with you here today. First off, I want to give a shout out to Mount View Elementary in the Highline School District. I wore my Tiger shirt today for the Mount View Tigers. So hi Mount View. Um, we are going to read a poem together today. Actually, I'm going to read a poem to you today um, called Zoophabet. So Zoophabet sounds like alphabet, right? And this kind of poem is called an abecedarian. When you hear abecedarian, what do you think about? Alphabet, right? So the form of this poem is that every line starts with a letter of the alphabet going from A to Z. For my dual language students out there, this is the English alphabet. So you'll see some letters missing from when we do the Spanish alphabet. So I'm going to read this poem to you. The name of the poet is Avis Parley, and I want you to listen and see if you can hear all the different letters of the alphabet. I think you'll also hear probably a lot of things that are interesting and maybe new to you. I know that after I read this poem, I had to look some stuff up. Okay. Zoophabet. Ants use antenna to seek out their tracks. Beavers gnaw trees for their lodge. Camels store food in the humps on their backs. Dragonflies dazzle and dodge. Elephant trunks furnish watery flings. Flamingos eat shrimp to stay pink. Grasshoppers' ears appear under their wings. Hummingbirds hover to drink. Inchworms advance with a rear-ended loop. Jellyfish sometimes can sting. Ouch. Kestrels catch lunch with a lightning-like swoop. Larks love to warble and sing. Moles tunnel intricate malls underground. Newts thrive in ponds filled with weeds. Owls like to swivel their heads right around. People can learn how to read. Quetzals are gorgeous in feathery dress. Rats have acquired a bad label. Seahorse appears like a figure in chess. Tortoise found fame in a fable. Umber birds thrive in the African wild. Vipers can poison their prey. Worms turn the soil when the climate is mild. Xylophage chews wood all day. Yaks grow in horns that are gracefully curled. Zorillas are striped black and white. Each zoobet creature is part of this world, unique with its own copyright. So that was our poem, Zoobet, and Here's some things that I learned when I was looking that up. First off, xylophage, which sounds like a Z, but is an X word spelled X-Y-L-O-P-H-A-G-E, is um, a, like a little um, bacteria that eats wood. And a zorilla, which was the Z animal in the poem, is a, long, a striped, like a striped pole cat. Uh, found on the continent of Africa. Um, other things I looked up in there were, um, oh, I looked up larks to see what kind of bird that was. And a lark is a bird with a mohawk, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm thinking that maybe you can, can write an abecedarian at home and you can write it really about anything. You could write it about things in your house. You could write it about people in your family. You can make an abecedarian where every letter of the alphabet represents a dream you have for your future or something that's really cool about yourself. I wrote one and because I can't see my students in person right now, I wrote one about my students to celebrate you. And because all of my students at Malfew Elementary are in the dual language program learning half in English and half in Spanish, I wrote my poem both in Spanish and English. So in Spanglish, it's a mix of both. So I'm gonna read you my poem right now, which is called My Students. Again, see if I got every letter in there from A to Z. 
my students. Always telling a story or a joke, bringing me a smile from ear to ear. Cantos y bailes en el salón y recreo. Drawings pass between peers. Excelente en contarme so many cuentos. Feeling feelings like a mice or a hawk. Good in their hearts, siempre muy buenos. Humming tunes while the teacher talks. Invencibles en sus amistades. Joyful justice in their play. Kinships that move across languages. Laughter throughout the long day. Mis estudiantes vienen de muchos países. Nombres short, medium, and long. Orgullosos de su multitud de raíces. Proud of their various songs. Quítanse de sus lamentos. Rap, sing, stretch, or draw. Soplan un cancioncito. The one that makes you feel awe. Underneath all of your boredom, váyanse muy profundo, way down into your ecosystem. Xylem that nurt nurtures your mundo. You and you and you are the seeds, roots and flower. Zumando abejas with so much power. So thanks for listening to my poem. Um, I think the word that I had to look at the dictionary a little bit for this. What's really cool, if you can Google, you can search for, you can just say, can you tell me all the words that start with X or with Z? And I found out that xylem, which is a part of a plant, which a lot of you know because you're such excellent biology students, um, is uh, starts with X. So X Y Z X Y L E M is xylem, and that was my X word. Um, so good luck writing your poems today. And please, 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 if you do write a poem, you can collaborate with your brothers and sisters. You can write it with your mom or your dad or anyone who's home, aunts and uncles. You can ask people for help while you're writing it. You can make it an activity that everybody does to, together. Just say, look, we got to get from A to Z to write this poem and you can work together. Um, and please, please send it to us at ArtsCore on the address that's going to come up on the screen right now. All right, I hope to see you very soon. Take care. I don't know how to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>